Good morning, FHS, and welcome to this week's edition of the Sabre Roar. I'm Brandon. And I'm Jesse. Today we will be your tour guides, giving you an inside look at everything that has been added to FHS this year. One of this year's biggest additions to the school was the new auditorium and music spaces to the south end of the building. The new auditorium was completed over the summer in time for the new school year. It already has hosted many events, including Heroin in the Suburbs, the Mock Crash, and many more to come. The auditorium provides to the students both a new facility to come and watch their peers perform, but also gives the performers a more comfortable setting to show what they've been working hard at all year. One of our big reasons for existing is for our performing arts education program. And when you have a venue like this, the directors can come in and not have to worry about the lights and the sound. They don't have to fight the room. The Sabre Center provides new state-of-the-art sound and lighting equipment that will be run all by students under the direct supervision of the new director, Mr. Krause. He has professional experiences ranging from working Summerfest rock concerts to running performing arts centers, bringing this experience directly to the students for a new opportunity in school. No more cramming into that small, hot, noisy, multi-purpose room for entertainment anymore. All over the building this year you'll see new technology. Chromebooks were purchased to, in order to improve the way students learn both inside and outside the classroom. Well, at least for the underclassmen. Franklin Public Schools has implemented a new program entitled FPS 1 to 1, whose goal is to get a device in the hands of each student. Students in grades 9 through 11 were given a personal Chromebook to use both during the day and at home. Textbooks have become uh, a bit more irrelevant because by the time they're published, they're already outdated. By having things digital, it remedies this problem by always having the most current uh, answer and the most current research, the most current curriculum for students. Students will be accessing a variety of different information and services with the new laptops. It's where Google Apps for Education District, our learning management system for our blended and online courses that will be coming out in the next couple of years is Moodle. Teachers at FHS are taking advantage of the new devices by creating a more personalized, blended, and active classroom, aiming to get kids more college and career ready. Uh, it should also uh, help students that are ahead of the game to move at their own pace. Although the initial rollout has been successful, there is still some work to do. Really what we have to work on now is is the teachers uh, getting the courses that we want implemented up and running uh, and designed and built uh, in the way that we, we know that students learn best. Look for the new online courses when signing up for next year's classes. To accommodate the need for carrying a Chromebook, the administration has enacted a new policy that allows students to carry backpacks from class to class. During the past years, FHS has been strict about the bags students are allowed to carry but this year they decided to let students carry their regular backpacks. I really like the new backpack rule. I think it really helps out the students, especially with the new Chromebooks. I have a lot more room for me to carry. I don't have to stop in my locker every time. Although most students seem to be in favor of this new change, some teachers and staff members have different opinions. I mean, I can have 30 students in here and those backpacks can sometimes be everywhere. There's been multiple times I am skirting around backpacks all over my classroom and and I think students need to remember, you know, that I can't just plop this wherever. FHS students seem to be taking full advantage of this new backpack rule. Many students are enjoying the new policy and hope this rule stays in place. Throughout the new areas, there are many collaborative workspaces and new modern furniture. At the beginning of the year, many students were hoping that they would have some of the new furniture in one of their classrooms. With the new school year, brought different furniture throughout the school in common areas and classrooms including TVs, couches, and new tables. We looked at a lot of research uh, related to, um, you know, furniture that was most conducive to learning. The new furniture will help in many different activities, such as small and large group discussions and projects. Furniture in the classroom should be mobile, flexible. Uh, there should be a variety of furniture. Among the new furniture, there is also common areas on the main level and the new third level that teachers can take their students to during class. Also, you want students to be comfortable and, and um, feel good about the space that they're working in. So we looked at all those different things and we feel like we, we ended up selecting some furniture that really fit the spaces uh, that provided a level of comfort for students uh, and allowed them to do all of those different learning activities that we talked about. On the main level, FHS will eventually be able to accommodate 40 to 50 people in the common areas for teachers and students to use in order to encourage collaboration and improve the new learning environment. 
Outside, you'll find new athletic facilities for a variety of sports. Over the summer, Franklin High School began building two new practice fields behind the school as part of the referendum. A softball field to the north of the baseball field with district money renovated the football field into turf and began winding the track into eight lanes with private funds. All of these uh, fields and the pool are on site here at the high school, so nothing is off site currently, and that will help for all of our athletes to be able to utilize the fields more frequently. Currently, there is a cell tower in the middle of the lane, but it's scheduled to be removed by March, just in time for track season. I hope this will influence students to go to more home games and meets. Um, it's always great to have the support of the student um, crowd and the community out at our events. The practice fields should be done in the 2015-2016 school year. The pool is already completed and the softball field is set to be done in the spring of 2016. The old football field, affectionately known as the Swamp, also went through a huge transformation and became what is now known the Sullivan Stadium. There was a celebration for the opening of the new stadium this year that introduced the field to the community. Special shirts were even sold and worn for the occasion. Spectators welcomed the additions of new buildings for bathrooms, a concession stand, and ticket booths. Multiple athletics teams will also benefit. Both boys and girls soccer teams, boys and girls lacrosse teams um, will be, all be using the, the actual turf field. We also have track that will be utilizing the, the new track around the field, and band and Fayette are also using it um, very heavily. All of this was made possible by donations, including one very generous one. We had one big donor that donated um, upwards of $500,000. We hope that all the students will enjoy the new field and all the Sabre Athletic events that will be held there. Student Uproar Awards are given to students who have gone above and beyond in creating a great school. Teachers nominate the winners and each week two are chosen to receive special recognition. Now it's time for this year's first Uproar Winners. Good morning, this is Officer Pat Rocky. On October 8th, two Franklin High students, John Granrath and Brandon Harris, found another student's cell phone in the building. Instead of just leaving it there and doing nothing, they chose to turn it in to a teacher. That is why I nominated them for an Uproar Award. Congratulations to those students for their outstanding model behavior. Check out the Sabre Slate for the list of all the nominees and why they were nominated. Well, that's everything new we have for you here from the Sabre Roar. Thanks for touring the new and improved FHS with us this morning. I'm Jesse. And I'm Brandon. Stay classy, Franklin. <laughs>